Welcome back to this channel. So in today's class, we want to solve quadratic equation. What do you understand by quadratic equation? Quadratic equation in one variable is an equation in which the highest power of the variable is 2. So the quadratic equation is in this form. A x squared plus B x plus C is equal to zero where a b and c are numbers and this a must not be equal to zero a must not be equal to zero so we have Three methods that we can use to solve quadratic equation. One, solution by factorization. That is factorization method. Two, by completing the square method. Completing the square method. Completing the square. method then we can solve it by formula solution by formula so factorization method so this factorization method is in form of if you say a multiplied by b is equal to zero we know that it's either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero or both a and b are equal to zero so in factorization method or in quadratic equation generally we must get two solutions and those solutions are known as roots now let's solve this quadratic equation using factorization method let's use this example let's say we have 10 x squared plus 17 x plus 3 is equal to 0. now procedure to follow procedure is that you have to multiply the first term the first term here that is 10 x squared Multiply it by the last term, that is the constant. So multiply by plus 3. So you have to be careful of the sign. Any sign that is there, you have to be careful. Now, if we multiply this one, you know that this one is also positive. So it gives us plus 30x squared. Now, that is step 1. Two, look for two factors look for two factors of plus 30 x squared that if you sum if you sum or had if you sum or you had you are going to get the middle value you are going to get the middle value middle value and that middle value here is plus 17x now factors of 30 30 are 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 and 30 now we now look for two out of these factors of 30 that if you multiply together you must get plus 30 and if you had you must get plus 17. now which one are we going to take five and six if you multiply them together it's going to give you 30 so let's check plus five multiplied by plus six it gives us plus 30 now 
What of plus 5 plus 6 is equal to plus 11? So we are not going to take these factors. So we are not going to, not equal to 17. This one is not equal to 17. So we are not going to take that one. Now, 10 and 3 plus 3 multiplied by plus 10 gives plus 30. Now, if we had it, plus 3 plus 10 is equal to plus 13 and not equal to plus 17. So we are not going to take that one. 2 and 15 plus 2 multiplied by plus 15 is equal to plus 30. So plus 2 plus 15 gives plus 17. So we are going to take this one. Now, you now expand the middle. You use plus 2 and 15 instead of plus 17 that is there. So we have plus 10x squared plus 2x plus 15x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, you now see that bracket them like this. So there's something that is common to 10x squared plus 2x. So 2x is common to them. So you have to factorize it out. So how many 2x can we get from 10x squared? So 5, it's, we have 5x plus 1. Then from here, 3 is common. So factorize 3 out. 3, then we have 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. There's something that you have to be careful of here. Those numbers inside the bracket must be the same thing. It will be equal. That is this and this. If you are not having the same thing, that means you are not getting it right. So you have to be careful of this one. Now, the next thing is that you, you take this that you factorize out plus the other one that you factorize out from the other side. You take them together. So 2x plus 3 brackets them. Now, out of those one inside the bracket say that I said that they have to be the same thing. You take one. So, 5x plus 1. Then you equate everything to be equal to 0. 2x plus 3. Then another bracket, 5x plus 1 is equal to zero if you expand everything you must get back 10x squared plus 70x plus 3 is equal to zero if you do not get it that means you are wrong now from here it means that you know i said that factorization of a quadratic equation in form of a b is equal to zero it's either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero or both are equal to zero so from here also, it's either 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 or 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, let's take the first one. So, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, 2x is equal to take plus 3 out, it becomes negative minus 3. So, we want to make x the subject of the formula. So, divide both sides by 2. So, 2 cancel to x is equal to minus 3 over 2. Or, we take another one. 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, 5x minus is equal to minus 1. So, divide both sides by 5. So 5 cancel 5. So x is equal to minus 1 over 5. So this x here that we have x is equal to minus 3 over 2 or minus 1 over 2 are called the root of the quadratic equation. Of quadratic equation. That is the solutions. Two solutions that we must get are known as roots of quadratic equation. 
So let's have another example. Example 2. 6x squared minus 30x plus 5 is equal to 0. The first step is that you have to multiply the first term by the last term. And that last term is constant. So 6x squared multiplied by plus 5 is equal to plus 30x squared. Now, look for two factors of plus 30x squared that if you had, you must get minus 13x. And I've said that factors of 30 have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So we can see that 10 and 3. So plus 3, if you take plus 3, then plus 10. If you multiply them, you are going to get plus 30, then put x, 30x squared. But here, the middle one that we are looking for is minus, negative, minus 13x. That means one of these factors must be negative. One of them must be negative. Now, if one of them was or both of them would be ne should be negative. Now, if you take minus 3x, multiply by minus 10x. Negative times negative is equal to positive. 3 times 10 is equal to 30. X times X is equal to X squared. Now, minus 3X plus minus 10X can be written as minus 3X minus 10X. And that is equal to minus 13X. That means this is, these are the factors that we are looking for. So, now we can now say that, so, the next thing is that you have to expand the middle number to be minus 3x minus 10x. So, the equation becomes 6x squared minus 3x minus 10x, then plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, you take them together here, so you factorize what they have in common. So you can see that they have 3x in common here. Yeah, so let's factorize 3x. 3x, if it comes out, this one remains 2x minus 1. So if you expand 3x multiplied by 2x gives 6x squared. 3x multiplied by minus 1 gives minus 3x. So if you do not get that one, that means you are not getting it right. Now here 5 is common. So you take 5 out. If you take minus 5 out here, you are left with 2x, positive 2x. Minus 5 multiplied by 2x gives minus 10x. Then, if you take negative 5 out here, this one will give us minus 1 is equal to 0. Minus 5 multiplied by minus 1 gives plus 5 is equal to 0. Then, you have to be careful here. Those inside brackets must be the same. Now, take the factorized one out and take them together. So, 3x minus 5. Then, take one out of those inside the brackets. Take one. 2x minus 1. Everything is equal to 0. So, this solution means that 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. Or, 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, taking the first one, we can say that 3x is equal to 5. And taking, making x the subject of the formula by dividing both sides by 3 means that x is equal to 5 over 3. Or, so let's come here, 2x is equal to 1. So divide both sides by 2, we have x to be equal to 1 over 3. So, so we have two solutions. So x is equal to 5 over 3 or 1 over 2. So these are the roots of this quadratic equation. So that is how to find quadratic equation. So another example. Example 3, we have x squared minus 64. 
is equal to zero. It's also a quadratic equation because it's in form of ax squared plus bx then plus c is equal to zero. It's just that the coefficient of this x squared is one and the coefficient of xa is zero. Then the constant is 64 is equal to zero. Then this equation also is known as we have ax a, a squared minus b squared is equal to zero. This is an um, equation in difference of two squares. So we can use that one also. So this is difference. We shall do that one. So difference of two squares. So you can easily do use that one. That is it will be equal to a this one means x squared minus 8 squared because 8 times 8 gives us 64 is equal to 0. So we just take x plus 8, then bracket it x minus 8 is equal to 0. If we expand this thing, it will give you this one. So we just say that x plus 8 is equal to 0 or x minus 8 is equal to 0. So from here, x is equal to minus 8 or x is equal to 8. So x is equal to, you can now say that x is equal to plus or minus 8. Or if you quickly want to use this method that we have been using for quadratic equation, you can say that you, are, you multiply the first term by the constant, so we have minus 64 x squared. Now, factors of 64, uh, we have 1, we have 2, we have 4, we have 16, we have 8. Now, take two factors that if you add them together, you must get 0. And if you multiply, you must get minus 64 x squared. And those factors will be plus 8 and negative 8. So we have x squared plus 8x minus 8x minus 64 is equal to 0. So if you multiply minus 8x then by plus 8x, you know, we're going to get minus 64x squared, which is this one. Now, if you add them together, 8 minus 8x plus 8x is equal to what? 0. Or you can say 0x. It's still the same thing as 0. So we can say that it has given us the middle one. So from here, you can now say that. Let's factorize. What do they have in common? x. So x then plus 8. Then here, we can factorize 8 out. Minus and so we have x then plus 8. Yeah. Everything is equal to 0. So we can say that x minus 8 then x plus 8. Everything is equal to 0. So from here, x minus 8 is equal to 0 or x plus 8 is equal to 0. So um, we have x to be equal to 8 or minus 8. So that is the answer.